In this video, we're going to be taking a look at all the different screenshots that we got for the brand new Empire City promo that will be coming to the game tomorrow. So let's take a look at them. Okay, so as you can see, we have got this brand new Empire City promo and it, this is what we'll get on the news tab. It says open Empire City packs from the store to get Empire City players, play the game to earn some additional pizza slice tokens to use in sets and the promo lasts for seven days. Now this promo is similar to like all the other achievement based promos that we've got like Summer Scare, like Specialist, all that stuff that where we get in the achievement. We don't know what the achievements are, but I'm guessing they'll be roughly about the same as what we got last time. Plus, instead of getting some of the Totti players that we needed to get last time, I'm guessing it's probably going to be Dungeon and Basketball players. But if you think about it, that's going to be a lot easier than getting Totti players because Dungeon and Basketball players, you're just going to need to complete some milestones. If you want to know how you can get those Dungeon and Basketball promo masters, go check out my promo breakdown where I broke it all down and how you can get that. But let's take a look at some of these players. You're going to get these players over here. They're 99 overalls and you'll probably get one of them normally spent if it's judging by the last couple of achievement based promos. You can see you've got a Monroe, you've got Marbury, Randall, Irving, Patrick. Patrick Ewing and then you can trade all of them in for a playstyle select James Harden. Now I doubt you'll get that James Harden no money spent. I reckon you'll probably get this select pack where you can pick 199 for free. But again, we'll have to wait and see what those achievements are like. But based on the other ones, that's what I think is going to happen. But as you can see, this is what you'll get in the store. You've got these cash offers. You can buy a pizza slice token. You've got some Brooklyn or bus packs over there. And you've got this claim pack. Now this one, I reckon will be just on the first day. You can probably claim it. 5% chance of pulling a 95 to 97 overall master. So not the 99 overall masters. But you can get that and I think you'll just get that on the first day and you can unlock it once and just open that and see whether you got lucky or not and see whether you get those players. Then as you can see what you've got here is you need five pizza slice tokens which I'm guessing you'll get from the achievements. Again we'll have to wait and see what those achievements look like and then you will get a 99 overall select pack. Now as you can see the lower overall versions of the masters so you've got the 99 overall masters but there's also a lower overall version of them. So as you can see instead of the 99 um, Patrick Ewan there's a 97 version of him and so on and so on. But if you trade in all five of them specifically you will get them back I think and you will get a 99 select pack again that's more of the store based stuff if you're trying to spend the cash in there then you can exchange any of the two lower overall ones for a pizza slice token to get a 99 overall master and then like I said earlier trade in all five of the 99s to get that 101 playstyle select master James Harden and he's looking like a really good card this is some more stuff in the store as you can see some more cash offers you got an Empire City player pack with a 10% chance of pulling a pizza slice token so you don't have to do some of the achievements and you can get some extra ones but I doubt you have 4,000 NBA cash lying around no money spent now this is the grandmaster he's a playstyle select so you can pick what you want in power finesse or strategic that's up to you 101 james harden he is a shooting guard which is pretty decent and he's got a dead eye boost an elite one so he is a little bit better than d'angelo russell in the boost side of that so it's up to you whether you want him and again you can pick him in any different select style so it's up to you whether you need him power finesse strategic that's up to you he's got a 101 three point shot which is pretty nice, a 101 free throw, but I doubt it will begin to line up much as it's really hard to get a free throw. But 99 mid-range shot, 96 dunking, 95 layup, 94 speed, 94 agility. Rebounding stats in the 80s, but not too bad um, for a shooting guard and especially James Harden. He's going to be shooting the ball really well, obviously with that 101 three-point shot and 99 mid-range shot. He's going to be shooting really well. And of course, that dead eye boost is going to help your team out quite a bit. Now on the playmaking side, he is pretty good. 100 pass accuracy, 92 interception, 92 foul mistakes. He is looking pretty good. 99 triple threat over there and the box out stats are 95 a piece so that's going to be pretty good he's going to be all right on the defensive end but not the best and not the worst but pretty good for a shooting guard uh, nonetheless then you got this patrick ewing now all of these 99 overalls they aren't going to give like a specific boost they're just going to give an xp boost instead of like a, a dead eye boost or a goat boost or anything like that they're just going to give an xp boost so patrick ewing is a strategic center so again it's up to you whether you need them i don't think he'll be better than the monthly masters that we got last month because last month's monthly masters were 98 overall but they were giving out slightly better boost like helping the whole team out so i reckon those will still be better than this patrick Hume. but maybe you try and get him and then sell him on the auction house when they become auctionable his rebounding stats are both 99 which is pretty good 100 strength so he's going to be really good in the paint 93 dunking which isn't that high for a center like we've seen higher uh, centers with higher dunks um, but as you can see 86 layup his shooting stats aren't the best 81 mid-range and a 64 three-point shot but as center, he's not really going to be shooting. Taking a look at some of his defensive stats, he is looking pretty decent. As you can see, most of them in the high 80s or low 90s over there. Some even the high 90s. And he's got 100 block and 90 still. So it's going to be pretty good on the defensive end and in the paint. But not the best center. I think he won't be as good as the Matthew Masters that we got last month. Because those will be a little bit better. Then you got this Julius Irving over here. Now Julius Irving, he's had quite a few dunk packages. I don't think this season he's going to get it in this card. Because if you look at all the cards that have got the dunk packages this season, and most of them or pretty much all of them have got 
a high fly boost that they're giving out to the team so i think that's what ea are just saving it for if the player's got a high fly boost more than likely they're gonna have a dunk package so i don't know whether this card will have a dunk package but he is a power small forward so again it's up to you whether you need him he's giving out an xp boost he's got 100 dunking so again that dunking might mean he has that dunk package but i don't think so because of the fact that we have so many players with a high fly boost that just have the dunk package and no other players like a Jam Morant in the Summer Scare promo and so on and so on. Rebounding stats are pretty good. 92 are both of them. 91 speed, 92 agility, 96 layup, 3 point shots, 88. Um, and his mid-range shot is really high. So he's going to be a pretty decent small forward, especially if you're a power player. And his defensive stats aren't the best, but they're not bad either. you got an 89 block, 86 steal, and playmaking, he's pretty good as well. So he's looking like a decent card all around. Then you got a finesse power forward. If you're finesse, you might need this card. I don't really know because um, I don't really have a finesse lineup. But he's 99 overall like the other ones, giving out that elite XP boost. I don't know how much of a boost that XP boost would actually give, like when you're playing events and stuff. But he's got a 93 mid-range shot, 89 free throw, 92 dunking, 94 layup, 85 speed, 88 agility. His rebounding stats are above 90, which is pretty good. But the three point is not the best. Uh, mid range is all right. 93 is going to be pretty good for a power forward. Defensive wise, he is looking pretty good. As you can see, all pretty much all of them in the 90s. 87 block, really low still there, only 68. Playmaking, he's looking decent as well um, in the 70s and 80s on that side as well. Then you got this Stefan Marbury. I'm probably saying his name wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. But he's 99 overall. He is a strategic point guard. I'm probably going to go for this card. He'll probably be good while I'm still trying to get that Steve Nash because I think Steve Nash will probably be better than him. But he can just stay on the bench and just be that extra player there. He's giving out that elite XP boost like the other ones. He's got an 82 three-point shot, which isn't the best for a point guard. So that's why I'll probably stick him on the bench. If rebounding stats are fairly high for a point guard, you've got 91 offensive rebounding and 97 defensive rebounding, 91 speed, 98 agility, 83 dunking, which is not the highest, but he is a point guard, so he's not really going to be dunking it. He is going to be getting those layups and though as you can see 97 layup again that three point shot fairly low but the mid range is at 94 which is pretty good and on ball defense is 99 so he's looking pretty decent and defensive wise he is looking pretty good as well i don't know why there's such a big like difference between this offensive box out and defensive box out as you can see his offensive box out is 98 his defensive box out is only 59 so i don't know what's up with that but as you can see he's looking pretty decent on the defensive end 98 block but then again, a really low still, 68. So I don't know whether he's like the best point guard in the game. I don't think he is, but he might be a decent bench player if you haven't got that Steve Nash yet. I know I haven't, and I'll probably stick him on the bench instead of that um, Steve Nash from one of the um, playoffs promos. And then when I get the Monthly Master Steve Nash, stick him on the bench, giving out that extra boost to everyone else. Then finally, the final player we've got is this power shooting guard in Earl Monroe. He's 99 overall like the rest of them, giving out elite XP boost. 86 three-point shot, 94 mid-range, 93 dunking, 96 layer. 96 speed 97 agility rebounding stats are in the 70s he is looking like a decent all-round card nothing like standing out uh, really 69 block 92 steal 94 interception 92 court vision so he's looking decent on the playmaking side his steals high but his blocks low so i mean he's looking like a pretty decent shooting guard as well but if you're looking at a shooting guard you want his three point shot to be high but it isn't but he is a power shooting guard and i don't think we have many of them so it's up to you whether you need him for your power lineup but that's all the sneak peeks we got for this empire city promo let me know in the comments down below which master you think you're going to go for and we'll, again we'll just have to wait and see what the achievements are like i'm guessing they're going to be what we've had before so when we've had like win some showdown games win some seasons games games get some players from the dungeon and basketball promo again we don't know how exactly how many that's going to be spend some monthly master emblems so maybe you'll want to save up on those ones before we actually get to the point where we need to spend them and then the fifth one will probably be that live today events where you play through that but that is just based off of what we got in previous achievements promos and if you look at the achievement promos that we got previously they're only out for five days whereas this one's out for seven days so it's going to be interesting to see what sort of content we'll get out of this because if you think about it, this one's going to be out for seven days which will probably make it so that it ends roughly maybe a day or two after the Dungeons of Basketball promo ends but that means that we won't have a lot of content for quite a while actually unless we get an extra Grandmaster for that Dungeons and Basketball promo which I'm guessing we will maybe even next week um, sometime like in the middle of the week or something we'll have to wait and see what we get with that because I'm hoping we do get something um, like a Grandmaster for that Dungeons and Basketball promo because otherwise we'll be left with these two promos like the Dungeon Basketball promo the Empire City promo for a whole week pretty much and that's just going to be the same thing going over playing the same stuff and once you're done with Empire City that's pretty much it you can't do anything else with it so i'm hoping they do add another dungeon of basketball promo master that would be really good hopefully it's a good grandmaster as well that we can all try and get free to play or pay to win it depends but anyway that's gonna do it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you guys in the next one peace